actually use chat GPT all the time now. And I use it for one specific thing. So it's good to test out and see. Um, but I actually now use this almost like clockwork. So I'm going to give you an example, my Empowering True Crime channel. Before we continue, make sure to subscribe for more brand visibility tips. And I posted yesterday about this. This is the Malaysia Airlines, the mysterious disappearance of the plane. It actually happened on March 8th. I think that's when Netflix released probably on the nine year anniversary. So Netflix re released a docu-series on the Malaysia Airlines. It's gotten new press. And so I decided to, to do a short on that. So I ended up coming up with this unsolved mystery of MH370. How did the plane vanish without a trace? Based on typing in chat GPT. So I said, improve YouTube headline. You know, something like mysterious vanishing of Malaysia Airlines flights MH370. Improve Hema, and I'm going to cap it in 70 characters or less. Unraveling the mystery. What really happened to Malaysia Airlines flight M730? Wow, that's actually really good. I like that. I might change. I might change this unsolved mystery of MH370. How did the plane vanish without a trace? I might, I actually like that. I might, I might keep this one to improve my messaging so that it makes it more catchy so that people want to read it, right? And so on social media, remember that usually like the first 10 words, let's say, of any messaging is the most, is what's going to grab the attention of the reader. And if it's a video of the viewer, right? And so I've been using ChatGPT to come up with a couple of headlines every single time I post on YouTube. And so this is the one I posted yesterday. Unsolved mystery of MH370. How did the plane vanish without a trace? And then I just did, I added this again today, just now. Just make sure. And, and I came up with ChatGPT, came up with unraveling the mystery. What really happened to Malaysia Airlines flight MH370? It's like, that's really good too. So I think I might actually change it to this one because ideally we want to test what, you know, what's working and what's not. So this is another one I did. Uh, I just posted this morning. New CCT video before mysterious disappearance. And it was good. I mean, I can always change that and I can always test it, right? This one has already gotten, it's actually gotten more views, but it's already gotten a pretty decent amount of views. But if I didn't, like in the case of the one that I just showed you of the plane, that one didn't get that many views. I was actually surprised. It's only gotten, it's gotten uh, over a hundred views. Well, sorry, not that that's not a lot, but compared to the content that I normally create, that's on the low side. So I can test, right? You can test the messaging when something isn't really um, isn't really being relayed that well, or you're not getting the message across. And to test that point, I actually changed the headline on this post, and within the hour, it went from a hundred views to almost two thousand views. So in this case, it definitely helped to tweak the headline. So that's one thing, one way that you can use ChatGPT is to improve the headlines, improve the messaging up front, and then improve the messaging after you've already posted. Let me know your biggest takeaway in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something new, make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more brand visibility tips and strategies to grow your business. Thank you.